The Purge is a, it's a, it's kind of a new America. It takes place in 2022, where uh, and there's a new government entity that has taken over. We don't really know how they've taken, what they voted in. Has the government been, uh, is a corporation bought out the government? We don't know, but something's changed and the new government uh, regime is called the New Founding Fathers. And they've created a, a holiday uh, once a year, March 21st, where uh, all crime, including murder, is legal from seven o'clock at night to seven o'clock in the morning. Anything goes. And the idea behind it, it's kind of twofold. They're selling it as a way to contain crime to one night so that people will save up their criminal tendencies and do it on this one night. And also for a way for human beings, uh, uh, the violent creatures that we've, we are, to kind of purge the hatred and aggression within, to get it out so that the rest of the year they can be free of that. What's really occurring behind that is it's kind of an economic reason they're doing it. Uh, they're, the people who can't protect themselves on that night are the poor people, the sick, the poor. Uh, so those are the ones being uh, killed. Uh, they're being sacrificed so that the, ultimately we're unburdening the economy uh, by killing the non-contributing members of society, which, uh, which uh, so there's, there's a whole race class thing occurring in this, in this time. James is interesting. I think James represents apathy in a way of America. Um, he, he's a salesman. He sells the security systems to the rich uh, so they can protect themselves on this day. And so he in turn has become rich from the purge. So he's completely given himself over. He's bought into the purge propaganda uh, because it's made him very, very rich. And um, so, and he believes, you know, Sadly, like I think when I watch the news too, it's happening over there, it's not happening to me, and we get sad for a second. But the, that apathy, the apathy we all kind of, I think, feel sometimes or display is all within him. Uh, he, uh, he says it happens to poor people, and yes, that's very sad. Poor people die in this evening, but it never, the violence never comes to our gated community. We're all protected here, so everyone stays away because you can't kill anyone in these gated communities. Everyone's very protected. So he's this man who's kind of uh, gotten rich off the purge. He believes in it. He believes in the propaganda. He doesn't kill anyone. He doesn't go as far as uh, partaking in the killing and the murdering, but he believes in it because it's made him rich, and he says it happens over there. It doesn't happen to me, but then the night comes kind of crashing down. There's a great moral lesson uh, here for his character. Lena, I knew from a movie called Aberdeen, great independent film. Um, and then she did some TV. I knew she could also be tough because she played Sarah Connor on the, the Terminator TV, TV series, which I had seen like one episode of. So, so she, and her character kind of grows tough at the end of the film, has to get really strong. But when I heard that she was interested and read the script, I was over the moon. I loved her in Aberdeen. I knew she, she's a very, very subtle actress, which I love. She doesn't overdo it at all. And she was just a pleasure to work with. But her character is kind of, she starts off as, Lena had a great take on it. She's kind of dead. She's almost a Stepford wife. She too was bought into the purge, but it's almost deadened her that she's like, she's accepting the riches, but she knows there's a great cost to that. Uh, she's almost sacrificed her soul to live in this gated community where they're supposedly protected on this evening, but at what cost? What, what have they given up to, to live under this protection and under all, you know, with all this money? So she was great. She played that great. The points of view of each character are completely different. I think, not to repeat myself, but I think Max, again, is the moral center. He's questioning the purge from the beginning. I think that being the young one, not accustomed to the purge, he's the one who's opening up all the questions. His parents don't want to hear him about You, you don't question the purge, you kind of just accept it at this point in society, because it has made the society seemingly better. Um, so, yeah, everybody, uh, the daughter, she's uh, 16, she's got a boyfriend, she's not paying attention. It's almost like that 16 year old, like, I don't care what happens in the world, I'm living in my own little world. And then Ethan and, I think Ethan and Lena are, uh, you know, it's apathetic. They're just, it happens over there, I'm over here, we're rich, it's okay. And the end justifies the means, you know. Society is good now, the economy is good. We kind of allude that society might have broken down at some point. We don't give too much about backstory, but we kind of say that America was starting to crumble. Crime, poverty, stock market crash, many wars, uh, China divesting the bear bonds in here. So everything kind of went haywire. New government regime came in and, and got us back on track by creating the purge. So they're kind of like, it's a necessary evil in society. They've accepted it.